private tutoring. The private tutoring market is is a, a quite large market because the private private tutoring is a very important educational methodology used these days. Uh, and when I'm saying that it's a large market, I actually mean it. So as you can see, uh, the private tutoring market actually got. Uh, 103 mil, uh, projected 103 billion dollars by 2018, and uh, by a study done in 2011, it was about 310 million uh, already. So it's going, it's growing really fast, and it's something that we want to tap into. Um, to Torah, uh, no, the marketing, sorry, uh, the market, uh, the market that we want that we want to uh, address our products is uh, basically split in two. So we have first the mentors, the people who, are, who want to teach something, and we have the mentees, the people who want to learn something. Tutora is, something, is a platform that connects these people. Uh, we've conducted an, uh, an online survey um, among the people, in, among the students in Cluj, and we found that uh, out of the uh, we found that out of the 60 people that, uh, that responded to the survey, uh, but more than 50% of them uh, learned something from the past month. And uh, out of those, we also found that uh, about 83% uh, well, of those are willing to teach something for a fee. And uh, this is what the first the first market that we want to go into because this is the place that we are going to find both the mentors and the mentees right right bunch together, and we can actually uh, put our product out there really fast. Uh, about monetization. So uh, first of all, uh, I want to talk about how it works. Uh, Tutorial is uh, mentors sign up on the platform and they complete like their profile of the skills they want to teach and their availability, their location and uh, their skill level. And uh, based on that, people who want to learn something, they go online, they search for a specific skill and they find the list of the best matched people that can teach them that, but that particular skill. Uh, everything is done inside the platform, so even the booking and the payment will be done inside. So we're going to have uh, people who uh, sign up inside and book, the, and book the teachers. The teachers will be charged, uh, the, 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 we will charge a percentage of the, of the hourly fee that the teachers uh, ask. And that's how we we're going to, to do our monetization. Uh, to keep the people inside the platform, uh, we are going to uh, increase the rating of the teachers uh, based on the number of hours that they've already logged inside the platform. So the more hours you have logged within the system itself, the more high, the higher ratings you have, of course, besides the ratings that you receive directly from, the, from, your, from your students, and uh, you have a greater chance to increase your revenue as a teacher. We've done a bit of research this weekend uh, into our competition and we found that there are quite a, a few uh, platforms that do this but they do not offer the full solution of it. So they might have uh, searches throughout the, the teachers that can actually teach the skills but they do not offer booking inside it or they actually the, the, cri the criteria that you can search for are not really relevant. So I can search for an English teacher but I might get one uh, right outside outside, outside Cluj, and that's not really relevant for me. Uh, we've we've got, got together a great team. Uh, we've all, uh, we all have background in uh, tutoring and mentoring, and uh, we're very passionate about uh, teaching people. And uh, not only that we are now uh, founders, we are also mentors right inside Tutora. And uh, what's next for us? is that we're researching uh, B2B opportunities. So we're going to take the highest rated uh, teachers that we're going to have on our platform, and then we're going to try to uh, uh, do uh, packages, uh, training packages, specific, tailored specific for company needs. And we're going to sell that to other companies that might want to train, that might want to train their employees. That's it. Thank you. Thank you. So, team traffic is up next. Now, three minutes for questions from the jury.
Okay, um, you mentioned about the retaining people on the platform. Um, seems to me that that's one of the biggest risks that your business and other businesses similar have. Um, how do you think, I mean, will there be any way, will there be any way of learning if what you're planning to do is enough besides just doing it? How would you detect that people are falling off your platform if those incentives to keep them on aren't enough? Because it seems to me that you've got to really watch that. So how will you, how will you track that and how can you predict that early on that that's not working or is working? Uh, well, of course, if people are trying to circumvent the system and not go through our platform, we will suddenly see a decrease in our revenue. So that's something that we, could, we have to keep an eye out and see that the hours logged are going to decrease. And something that we, what we could do and something that one of the mentors actually mentioned that some platforms already try to do is to uh, put the teachers to, to ask them to fill out cards with the um, uh, progress that the students have already made. And that would, uh, for example, if you're a parent and you send your teacher, uh, your uh, child out and uh, get them a teacher to tutor them on something, filling out these cards uh, will actually give you a glance at, at their progress and, see, and you can decide if you want to send them back and see how see their progress and that will incentivize you to use the platform again. Um, another question. Um, it looks to me that you have two, two business models. With which one are you going to start with? Which one of you have an offering to companies or something that you would like to develop, which is one type of business model and it has a totally different approach. And you have a totally different business model towards the end user, me as tutor on one hand and plus someone who is in need of a duty. So how do you cope with that? Uh, we're going to start with the clients themselves. We're going to start and uh, build our database and have a lot and have users enough so we can grow into the B2B business. So it's going to take a while. It's like a long-term thing that we, we're trying to do. Uh, but at first, we're going for the client side, so the client business model. You talk about going the client business model. Have you thought about how to charge the people from legal point of view? Because my, 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 what I see a problem with the legal team. Uh, so I mean, it, it's, it's not, I, I, you are going to hire people mentors or it, it's not working like you just transfer money from one and then to the other because you have to pay the taxes overall. And have you thought about that? Yeah, sorry. So, uh, 